All right, so what I've done is I've just created a, a new um, directory here called in app search. And this is basically Yelp Camp version 11, and I've just um, duplicated it and then renamed it. Um, so, first things first, I'll take a look at uh, what Yelp Camp looks like without the search. And what we want to do ultimately is put a search bar right here underneath this add new campground button. And whenever you type in any any search term, it'll do like a fuzzy search. So if you type in like OUD, it'll pull up cloud rest. Or if you type in Mesa, it'll pull up desert Mesa, etc. Et um, so the first thing we need to do is put a form right here. And then we need to rewrite the route that that form is going to submit to to handle the query. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the the whole setup here for the view, we're going to use the same view that we're looking at right now, which is the index for campgrounds. So it's not going to need to have a whole lot of stuff changed. So the first thing I'll do is open up my views, campgrounds, index.ejs. And bring this down a little bit. Here's my Jumbotron. So right beneath the Add New Campground button is where we're going to want to have the, uh, the form. OK, so I'll put a new paragraph there and create a form. And then inside the form, I'll have a div that has uh, two inputs inside of it. So the first input is going to be a text input, and the name is going to be search, and then um, <laughs> we'll give it a placeholder that says something like campground search dot dot dot. Uh, the second input is a submit, so this will be make it a button. Uh, we can give it a value of search, and then both of these are going to need classes for Bootstrap. Uh, the form is going to have an action. We'll just send it to slash campgrounds. So that's already the route that's set up for all the campgrounds, campgrounds index. And then the method, most forms, well, all forms are default of post. So we got to set it to get. And when you do this in Express, what happens is whenever you submit that form, instead of packaging everything up into a rec.body object, it'll actually put it into a rec.query. Uh, and that's how we'll access the input values from um, the search input. So, and then this is also going to need a class. This will need a class. And then uh, I got to figure out what these, I think it's something like, um, let me see, form inline, form group, form control. Okay, button default. So we'll do a form in line, and then we'll do a form group, um, form control, and this will be a button, button default is fine, I think. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at our search form. We'll go back here and refresh. Uh, I'm, I'm using no daemon down here, so I don't have to restart my server. Um, so here's my form. It looks pretty decent. It's got the placeholder. And then whenever we submit it, it'll submit it to the um, slash campgrounds route, which is actually, if I get rid of this, it's actually where we're already at. So it's going to resubmit it to where we're at. Yeah, but this time we're going to filter it and say, hey, you have two options. If someone submitted a search form, then we need to render the results for the search. Result for the search. Otherwise, um, if someone just came to this page or sent the search or press the search button without actually putting an input in here, then we want to show all the results. So, um, <laughs> let's handle that. First thing we're going to do is install something called Locus. Have you ever used Locus? Uh, I haven't heard of it, though. No. Okay, so npm, npm install Locus, L-O-C-U-S. And this is just kind of like a, a debugging package for Node. Um, and then I'll run no daemon again, just leave that running. So what I can do now is go over to the routes, 
campgrounds.js and just right in here we'll plug in this line of code eval require locus and what will happen is whenever uh, we send a request to this route which is the slash campgrounds route it'll hit this line of code and it'll actually freeze our code and we can step into it and take a look at any variables that have been assigned so if we go here and we type in something like cloud rest and we hit search it'll freeze so nothing's going to get rendered we'll go back here and you can see down at the bottom it's actually opened up the code right where we put the uh, eval require locus so we're here on line nine and what I can do is like yeah go ahead it's like a debugger. yeah exactly yep it's just like that but it's for the back end so if I do a um, <laughs> rec.body, you're not going to see anything. It's just an empty object. So if we do a rec.query, now we can see the key value pair for search and then cloud dress. So if I do a rec.query.search, now I've got this string that I submitted. And we can use that to query the database with Mongo to then return the results that we're looking for. So uh that's pretty much all we needed locus for um it, it gets really helpful in the future when you have other problems but we don't really need it for anything other than just inspecting that rec.query so i'm going to exit out of that um that just sends me back here because it, it basically just sent a get request you can see the cloud rest up here in the uh, the url so anytime you have a question mark and then a key with an equal sign and then a value this is a query string right here. So this is the key and the value, and that's the value is submitted from the search form. So I don't know if you've gotten to the API portion of the course yet, but we talk a lot more about query strings there. Uh, yeah. OK, cool. So uh, what I want to do now is set a, a little conditional here. I'll say, OK, if. Uh, rec.query.search exists, then we're going to do something other than what we would normally do. Otherwise, if it doesn't exist, then go ahead and just run this regular um, query for all the campgrounds. And we're actually going to borrow that query because we're just going to modify it a little bit. So I'll plug it in here. And now what we need to do is we need to plug something into the find. To, to where it will search through all of the campgrounds and return any campgrounds that match the query string. Um, so this is referred to as kind of like a fuzzy search. And there's some node modules that make this a lot easier. We're not going to use them um, because it's we can just as easily do it with something called regular expressions. Uh, I don't know if you've done a whole lot with the regular expressions, but we, I think we used it when we did the um, the form validation in the front end portion of the course where you put the pattern and then you, you only allow validation of forms to be submitted with inputs that have like a minimum of five and a maximum of ten characters. Oh, okay. So... Um, what I did is I just searched for fuzzy searching with MongoDB and of course Stack Overflow had a, a solution. Somebody said, hey, I'm trying to do this and somebody else said, oh, here's how you do it. And then they even came back later and they changed their solution um, based on wanting to make it more secure to avoid what's called a DDoS attack, which basically just means that because regular expressions can be set up such that it'll slow down uh, the load time, someone could like put a lot of uh, labor on your server and it would basically break your server if they did it enough um, I yeah I think that's kind of what happened not too long ago whenever um, the East Coast. yeah the internet the internet broke for like a day um, so I mean, obviously that's on a more massive scale but so we're gonna take this function this guy wrote and we're gonna borrow it um, so uh, because he's uh, writing it as a declaration, we'll put it down here at the bottom. Um, and this equal sign can get we can get rid of that. But um, basically, he has a function. 
escape regex and then you pass in a text argument which is going to be our, our query and then he returns that text but he runs a replace on it and the replace has this regular expression here basically saying match anything um, any characters globally um, there's a little more to it than that but basically we just need to plug in our query string to this function and it'll handle the rest for us so now that this function is declared down here the way that hoisting works the function will actually be available to us throughout our entire uh, campgrounds.js file so if we go back up to the top uh, what is the name of that thing escape regex okay so if we go up here we say okay if there's a rec.query.search escape regex rec.query.search and I think in his solution he uses a constant so he says constant reg regular expression oh okay I see what happens he actually uses new regular expression and then he pass in, passes in what gets returned by that function uh, so we'll just take this whole thing here um, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, we'll replace this so he's making a variable regex uh, out of a new regular expression and then he passes in the return value of that function that we wrote down below and then he plugs in some flags for it um, so I think G is global and I is like ignore case or something like that um, do, 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 do. so now that we have this variable regular expression we can actually plug it in here so the key will be name and then regex and this is just going to allow us to search through the names for the campground if you want to do a more expansive search where you're checking like the names and the body and maybe even the author things like that then you're going to have to write a more complex query but this is this is pretty simple for now we're just trying to filter out the results based on the title of each campground that gets posted so i'm going to save this and let's see if it works so we'll go back here and there's actually already a, a query string up here so I'm gonna get rid of it. it it is working but just to show it with the search bar so we have three items here and we could have three or 300 doesn't matter uh, I'm gonna type in Mesa for uh, desert Mesa notice I'm using lowercase m and this one here is uppercase but we put in that um, the flag so it ignores the um, uppercase lowercase so I search and it pulls up desert Mesa if I search with nothing in there then it goes ahead and what happens is the rec.query.search doesn't have anything in it so it just skips down to here and returns all the results so then here we have clouds rest I can type in cloud and get that to pull up I can type in rest and then I could type in like floor for canyon floor and get that one so that's pretty much it. It's pretty basic. Um, and this will allow you to, you could put the search page, the search box anywhere. You could put it up here um, inside your nav bar and have people be able to search from any page that they're on just to make it more convenient. It doesn't matter. I mean, you could put it here to filter it. It's up to you. But the base, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, if I wanted to put it on the menu page, mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically, we go back here. Uh, here's this form that we created, so we'll just take the whole paragraph. Um, Uh-oh, I took the closing paragraph. Okay, so we'll take that. And then I'll open my landing page, which is somewhere around here, right there. Uh, okay, so I've got my landing header div. We'll put it inside of there so that it gets centered um, and then oh, that's annoying let me fix the okay so I'll save that go back to Yelp camp and now uh, if we go here it's, it's no longer here, but if we go back to our landing page, here's the campground search, um, and we can search for cloud, for cloud rest, and there it is.
So it doesn't really matter where the form is uh, as long as it's submitting to the correct route and then that route will load. Yeah. Um, if, uh, if we were to handle um, a search that doesn't exist. Oh, right. Yeah, like an error. Um, so let's say that there isn't a, a uh, clouds rest. So if you type in hello world, it will return nothing down here. So what you could do, um, let's think this through for a second. Um, campgrounds. Do, 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 do. All right, so here you could do a conditional uh, and find out if all campgrounds. So you could say something like if... Um, all campgrounds dot length is less than one uh, or equal to zero doesn't matter uh, then you could say variable um, no match is equal to no campgrounds match that query And in that case, um, <laughs> let's plug in uh, Locust real quick. Oh. Okay, so if we go back to uh, the landing page and we send in a search we'll just say hello world because we know nothing will match that it's gonna freeze which means we got opened up in um, locus so now if we say all campgrounds there should be an empty array so technically what we could do is we could say all campgrounds oh my god all campgrounds. It's one annoying thing about Locus is you can't use the up key to get the history. So all campgrounds dot push. Uh, then we could say something like, um, I actually have that no match, so I'll put no match in there. Um, and now if I look at all campgrounds, there's that that item. Um, but the, it's probably not a good idea to to push it in there because then when it renders the page it's going to try to iterate over that array and it's going to try to display it which isn't going to work. So what I would do um, is I would say you could plug this into uh, hmm, I'm trying to think of the, the most dry way to do this Okay, so what we can do is we can say var no match is equal to. I'll actually uh, declare this variable beforehand, so um, we can say something like no match uh, is just undefined for now. And uh, if all campgrounds at length no match is equal to res.render. And then in here we'll do comma. Uh, no match is equal to, or sorry, colon, no match. So either no match is going to come through with an error message or it's going to come through um, as undefined as it's defined here, or it's declared there, but it's undefined. Um, so now, where's, did I still have locus in there? No, good. Okay, so in the view um, here, we can do something like, uh, we'll just plug a div or there's already a row here so we'll say div call medium uh, six and then we'll do some EJS so if no match does not equal to undefined. Uh, 
then we'll do a like an h3 and render in no match which is just a string close that and we'll just see what this looks like for now I'm not sure if this right here is gonna work um, refresh oh, okay cool it does work so no campgrounds match that query obviously there's some styling going on here for this uh, this text center thing so what we could do to make it look a little bit better is we could do like call medium 12 um, and that would probably just center the whole thing yeah there you go so if you wanted to you could even put the form down in here um, so you could go back to the landing page take this paragraph copy it I'm going to uh, have to go in here where was it Um, save that and now if it doesn't match it'll actually give you the the search so then you can be like okay well that didn't work I'll search for cloud rest and then it'll pop it up for you so you go back here you can search for something that does exist so cloud Click search and it pulls up clouds rest you can go back again you can search for nothing and it'll pull up uh oh um, so it says no match is not defined let's try something else uh, let's just say if no match okay it doesn't like that I can go to here and say no match is equal to an empty string and then uh, back here we can say if no match dot length is less than one interesting no match is not defined oh oh you know what's happening here uh, it, it was fine how it was but the problem is down here, whenever it, it doesn't hit this first condition, it goes into the else statement where no match does not exist. So that's not a problem. What we'll do is we'll take we'll take it out of that else statement and we'll define it um, within the top of the route. And then down in here, we'll say comma no match. Um, is equal to no match and there's a couple different ways we could go about this we could just set this equal to null or undefined or whatever but um, now it's there the the campground search is getting rendered which is confusing that tells me that here inside of the index page um, it's still trying to render this so no match Let's see if we can get rid of this nope still there Oh, right, because I need to set it to So let me try this again if we go Here and we just submit it with nothing Then it should pull up all the results if we go back and we submit it with a correct search result so or In this case it would be something like clouds rest It'll pull that up, and then if we submit it with um, something that's incorrect, then it should give us a menu here. All right, cool. So that's uh, like all just kind of from the hip. It, it could be refactored to be a little bit cleaner.